We're coming down, coming down at the speed of sound. Coming down, coming down at the speed of sound. Hey, guitar family. <laughs> Guess who's here? Gatita Soares. Oh no, she misses all of you guys. She came too. She wanted to see what was up. Yeah. What's up? Special episode today. It's my 50th anniversary being alive. <laughs> yes, and we have something. We have something. Um, it's cold in here. You got you to gotta make it cold to get the lights to work. Look what we got. Let's just start, man. <clears throat> Check it out, man. This is it. My first PRS. Check it out, man. This is it. My first PRS. What do you think? Bam. Alright, let's get some... Alright, let's get some... This is the new PRS. So this is my new PRS 24 Custom. It's my first 24 Custom guitar. I haven't had a 24 Custom before this. And you know what? Um, it did take me a little while to like um, get used to this guitar because I've never had these frets. Check it out. Check it out. What's up, Gatita? What you doing back there? This is a clean tone on this PRS, so has a three-way switch, not a five-way switch, so you only get the bottom, the middle, and the top. It does have um, coil splitting, and only on the top, only the bottom one. If you pull this one, I've done it a bunch of times where it just, this will come off. It doesn't do anything. So this is my first guitar with 24 frets, and it does feel a little weird, you know, it's like, um, it's like, hey, where did these, <laughs> what's this note? I didn't have that note before, it took me 30 years to get it, and the 24, the 25 length, it does, does feel a little weird. This is a humbucker, I'm clean. This is the middle position clean. Now let's go for the neck. Once again, the middle. Now. Pull out the single coils. Right away, it dropped down in volume. You know what? We're gonna start that test over again because I'm still in tuner mode. Damn. So here's the humbucker. So let's try out the pickups. This has a humbucker. And this is the clean tone. Middle position. Neck position. To the humbucker. Let's try the humbucker again. I'll pull it out for the single coil. Drops down a lot of volume. Did I go out of tune already? Let's, let's tune it up really quick. So let's do the single coil again. This is a single coil. Bridge position. Now the middle. 
The neck position in single coil. Well, now with two single coil. I'll let this cat out. You done? All right. Bye bye. Bye bye, kitty. Bye bye, kitty. All right. So where were we? So single coils. The neck. Let's go back to the humbucker. Middle position. Neck position. Mm -mm. Okay, let's try the humbucker and some power chords. Let's try now some distortion. I got this rap pedal here. It's not really a distortion, but we're going to use it. Back to the humbucker. Oh, nice and honey. The neck position. Very woolly, woolly bully. Let's try the single coils. Humbug one. The two single coils together. I don't know which ones the two are. single coil. Back to the humbucker. Super Overdrive MXR. I'm gonna add a uh, tube screamer to that, a mini tube screamer. Make sure it sounds okay. Boom! Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's do the the neck position. the pickups because I heard chiminess. These pickups are very chimey like I guess that's a PRS thing. So that's the neck right here. We're in the neck.
There's a little bit of reverb from the PV Viper 1 amp. That's the neck. We're still in the neck. Let's try the humbucker with that. Whoops. A single coil. Oh, we already tried these. Let's try with the uh, super distortion. And let's say it was um, the crayon from Electro Harmonics. Ah, I fell off the fretboard. What is that? The humbug, humbucker? What is it doing that noise? Uh, I guess there's so much overdrives on there. Yeah, so this is on my 50th anniversary of my life. I got this guitar for my birthday, and um, I really like it. And I'm not going to tell you the cost till the end, but um, the 24 frets, nice. I never had a 24 fret guitar, and the, the scale length is also a little bit awkward for me. Put a little um, vintage DM2. Uh, infinite, infinite repeat. All right, enough delay. So we're gonna hear the humbucker super distortion with a. The tube screen. Get that pinch harmonic, boy, pinch it. Let's do the, the neck. Once again, that's the that's the super super badass distortion from MXR. The silver the silver pedal that shines and the. Uh, and the little mini um, 808 um, tube screamer. Sounds really good, man. All right, let's try a couple more tones. Well, let, let me tell you a story about this guitar. This guitar came to me, and I, I liked it right away. There's a few little things that drive me nuts. Like there's a little speck of paint right here. You can't even see it for me. <laughs> well, they did. Let me get to the cons. Here's the, the cons of the guitar. The cons are they cross-threaded. Um... The screw, you probably can't see it. They cross threaded the screw on the plate that goes onto the thrust rod. So that's cross threaded and um, not cool because um, I don't know. I'm, I, I haven't had to move it yet, but mm, I don't like that I have to fix that or leave it the way it is, crooked, because it doesn't like flush. Another problem is that they left glue, I don't know, crazy glue or some kind of glue on both sides of the neck. Um, I don't want to really, you could see it in some pictures, but I, I don't really want to point it out. And yeah, maybe that can be removed with something, but I, I don't want to mess with it. It's a brand new guitar. It's my 50th, 50th anniversary, so 50, <laughs> I keep saying it. it's my birthday present. And um, the last thing is that right here, see right here? And they fixed something here because it looks like there was a knot. If you look, you probably can't tell, but it looks like they took a, some some stain and they just went with the paintbrush I paint so I know and they just brushed it to try to kind of hide the knot they fixed or something and yeah you know what that's not cool because when I got it um to me it feel 
I felt like this was a bee stalk because it was cross threaded and the glue and this and um, I called Sweetwater and um, yeah you know what I sent them to pictures and they uh, sent me to their tech guy and um, we worked something out let's just say um, I, I, I did get um, some money sent back and um, and it was enough that I was satisfied with um, living with this because otherwise I would have been unhappy I might pay full price for having um, someone fix the the knot. I don't know what it is. Like maybe it was just an accident because they didn't just hit the knot. Like they didn't just hit the bottom. They hit the <clears throat> the cap. So you can see like right here was whatever that is. I don't know. Like, bam. You see? You're like, what are you talking about? But yeah. Because that's what it is. Um, uh, the nut could be a little bit. I'm going to have to like. Does it, not all of them are even, like with the test I do. They might have to be filed down evenly. I, also, I actually bought a nut for this from GraphTech that I'm eventually going to put on. Not right now. Not right now. I'm not going to change the nut right now because it's a brand new guitar. It's my birthday present. I just want to enjoy it. So I'm not going to be <clears throat> taking stuff off just yet. But I would have bought some pickups because I didn't know if I'd like these pickups or not. So I bought a Pearly Gates um, <clears throat> F-Spaced what is it um is that my stomach i'm hungry f space um pearly gates from billy f gibbons and the neck pickup is a jazz not right here and they're in zebra i have them over there in seymour duncan's and i was going to put those in and was nickel cases covers but um these sound these pickups sound good i'm gonna leave them on for uh, at least a while until i get you know the guitar fever modding itch and then i'll probably just mod them Mm, yeah, um, I did have to adjust the saddles. The, the the height was a little too high, and I hear that's a PRS thing. I don't like black pickups, black on black. I wish they had put like um, zebras on this one. And um, let me show you the back. It still has like some numbers and stuff. I, um, maybe I'll do a couple of glamour shots right now while I'm talking. I'll show you some stuff. The neck. I'll go up and down the neck. And but you know the the pitting I don't know what it's called the wood pitting on it, it kind of threw me because it's kind of deep and I was worried because I had a Gibson once I had to return to Sweetwater because the plane started giving me little micro splinters and I looked and um, it was where um where the grain I don't know where these like um, the wood grain is open and these on uh, rosewood and it just started to like shred off I don't know so I hope that doesn't happen with this guitar. And you know what? At first, I was going to return this guitar because of the things it had. And I went looking at some that they had at the Guitar Center. And just this one, the, the cap on this one was just more beautiful. And <clears throat> it played really well. And but yeah, um, I'm not crazy about the tuners. Uh, I was going to put um, some Grover tuners, but I'm, 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 I don't want to drill anything to this. I'll probably just put PRS locking tuners, which I hope are nice. I always like trying new things. Like I like to have different things on different guitars. I don't like to have all the guitars have the same nuts or, or tuners or, or pickups or, or even like, <clears throat> like sometimes I have a... Um, most of the time I do have, uh, what do you call it? A treble bleed on my guitars. I might put a treble bleed in this. So we'll see. But yeah, Zebra pickups might go into this soon. What else? Let me see what's on my um, to remember list. Um, we played the chords, the humbuckers. It's about it. Let's just enjoy that guitar here. Um, so yeah, um, what are the things I gotta tell you about it? It's a blue faded, I think they call it. It's got a violin, like cut, which they say, that the other ones have like a lip, like a Les Paul. They come back up and they dig into this one. And when I play standing up, a little, little discomfort, but not when I sit down. When I sit down, I don't even feel it at all. It's almost kind of like a, you know, like a cutaway. Like one of those, like a, you know, like a fender. <laughs> Hope you noticed that I wore a shirt with a bird on it because, you know, there's a turkey on here somewhere. I'm just kidding. Let me see if you pull it up right and you put it in the middle, it should be like a tally, I think. I don't 
know how to play Telly Licks. Pretty much it clean with a little bit of reverb coming from the amp. Beautiful sounding guitar. Oh, and the frets on this thing. This is the nicest. I've had Charvels that I was so proud of. This came with no dead spots. I can't say that about every Charvel. They were like the rounded frets and all that and beautiful. But this one had no dead spots. Oh, look at it. out of my way. Of course, I'm trying to get my own business. I warned you. Ah, I should have put these on the other way, huh? Oh, it's because this thing fell. Da, 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 da. Came back. So in closing, yeah, let's, let's um put that. Da, da. Else. some glamour shots and some stuff like that and we'll just you know but that's it you know it's a beautiful guitar it's 24 frets custom prs um blue faded um it's beautiful yeah i'm not crazy about the all black pickups i'm gonna put some zebras in here my are just cases of these pickups end up just being like something i fall like I don't know, in love with I might just put like nickel cases on it because I don't like the black. It's just too simple. It's too simple. Um, the floating trim does scare me because, you know, if you take off all the strings, it might like actually you know, like hit the the body and like, I think I might have already done that and dented it. Oh, right now we're playing with a single coil. Crazy, huh? No wonder it was all like, um, see, like... Let me see. Pinch, damn it, I should have used the new pick. I've used this pick out from doing too many pinch harmonics. Well, that was it. That was my PRS, my guitar, and I hope you liked this video. It's not a really review. I'm not. I did show you the pickup, but that's about it. And um, hope you liked it. Baby and Dead out. Remember, kids, do your schoolwork, take out the trash, cut the lawn, and all that other good stuff. Your uncle Fabian and Dead out. Remember, guitar family, take the trash out, mow the lawn, do all those good stuff. See you later, Uncle Fabian. Dead out. Remember, guitar family, do all those things, take out the trash, mow the lawn. Uncle Fabian did out. We're coming down, coming down, speed of sound.